All right, boys, so welcome to Construction Cronies. I uh, want to tell you about fire rating columns. First of all, you need to know what tools you need. You got a hammer drill, you got a, a hilti shotgun, you got a line laser, a pin laser, those are pin bolts. You got a framing square, two foot framing square, little fr little tiny speed square, clamps, uh, drywall gun, and, and, and uh, impact. All right, anyways, listen, guys. To make these columns really, really tight, like I like to make them, all right? And by the way, this is double layer 5 eighths. You gotta check where the steel is, okay? The layout is the most important thing here. Really, it is. You gotta check everything, okay? Every angle, every side, you gotta check it. <clears throat> check it with your lasers. You see that, right? So I'm pin lasering, I'm, pin, I'm pinning down the corners of the column there, because we wanna be on the outside of that, right? The, the bracket up on the top there. Okay, all you got to do is just laser everything. Make sure it's all tight because all we're going to use is angle and double layer 5 eighths. Double layer 5 eighths and angle is going to be so strong. You ain't moving those son those guys. You're not. See this? See what I'm doing? Be smart about your layout, okay? You want it to be square. You want it to be beautiful. And you want it to be as tight as possible because this column in particular is a lot bigger than it really needs to be. But because they've added a double double column to it, for the extra, like they just filled in the mezzanine there. Okay, so you got uh, two beams basically. So we want to go tight because you don't want these big bulky columns in the middle of your, of your shop or your office or anything like that, right? You want them tight. Okay, this is structural stuff, you, and you you want your your columns to be tight. Pay attention to what I'm doing here, guys. Okay, because like I'm I'm sorry, I can't just like hold your hand and do it like do it and show you guys uh, i wish i could I, I man that's why i wish i could have everyone live just teaching you right in person because that's how it's done like i um i'm trying my best to teach you guys through video okay i really am so listen man this is the deal okay use your lasers all right let's find out where the uh the, all the steel is make sure you got clearance okay when you're using angle you don't need a lot of clearance okay like literally you don't the angle can run tight to the board, and, and the board, the drywall itself will just wrap around all these columns and all this steel, right? At the end of the day, these are actually pretty big columns, so wait till you see it, okay? And But they're super strong. You could drive a truck into these, and it, like, wow, well, okay, a truck might do some damage, but my, my point is, like, if you walked up to it and pushed it with your hand, it ain't, it ain't going nowhere, right? See how I'm using my square, right? Using my square there, my two foot square. I'm I'm finding out. Okay, I want it to be perfectly level, perfectly plumb. So I gotta find where the uh, the farthest point is. Okay, and go from there. All your columns, you want to be the same size or similar. Okay, if it's a half inch to a quarter inch or whatever difference, no one's gonna see that with their eyes. Okay, you wanna you wanna you wanna be you want all your columns to be the same size. Okay, you don't want all these different size columns. It's gonna look weird. So if you're within like a half an inch, quarter inch in size, okay, that's cool, man. That's great. You see right there where my first layout, it's it's it, the 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 bolt there or um, the actual rod is farther out. So I just find out the distance I need to move my line. Right? Look at that. Just move it out half inch, and we're good to go. Okay. Laser all four sides, all the way around. And if you have lots of columns to do, go and check the other columns. Make sure you can kind of get it, get all of them in, within the same, like you know, same within. As I can tell you, within the same same dimensions. Okay, that the the track there, the angle is an inch and a half. Okay, most track track angle, sorry, is an, an inch and a half. So look at that, right there at the bottom of the mortar is where I'm going to come out an inch and three quarter, because I want I want a little play right there. Okay, so I come out an inch and three quarter. Um, from the mortar there on this straight side and I'm going to measure, measure it across okay because I'm going to keep it completely square right so I, I cut that measurement now I go to the other side and I run from the front so I already found where the front line will clear everything all the steel it's just it's just checking checking to make sure all of it all of it clears the steel and then squaring it out and then plumbing it up leveling it out Okay, it's really, guys. It's like I'm gonna teach you some more tricks. Uh, don't, don't, don't leave the video yet. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you some more tricks too. But the layout is the most important thing here. Okay, see that? I got an inch and three quarter. That means the angle gonna fit. The angle's gonna fit. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, 
There's a big, big thing that a lot of guys do, and I see it every single day. They try to shoot the angle down to the concrete with the Hilti gun or the ram set or something like that, okay? Guess what, guys? It's not going to work, man. Why? Because it's a freaking pile cap that you're shooting into. It's the strongest concrete in the whole floor. The, the, the pile cap is like 35 MPA, whereas the slab is only 30. Okay, so you need to hammer drill that, that stuff down. Okay, hammer drown and smack pin it. You want all your bottom angles hammer drilled and smack pin down. Don't even bust out the Hilti the shotgun or anything like that because it's not going to work. So, and then you see here, okay, I have a pin laser and a line laser working in it together. I'm shooting the uh, angle to the beams to the steel that I, I have access to, right? And I'm plumbing it all up. It's all beautiful. Look at that. I got the first two sheets on. It's gorgeous. Okay, look how tight that is. You see how tight and beautiful that is, guys? Just look and learn. Just watch and learn. Okay, guys, like I'm trying to do my best with this voice over here to tell you what's going on, but look how tight this is. Okay, look how tight. Look how tight. It's beautiful, right? It's, it's the smallest possible column you could have in this situation. And I think that's the way it should always be. You want the tightest columns always. So now... I'm clamping the eye, the angle for the front the face pieces. Okay, I'm clamping it and I'm screwing it in. Okay, I didn't have to pre-frame this, guys. All I had to do was shoot the bottom angle and the top angle. Okay, bottom angle, top angle on two sides. And now, boom, boom, boom. Now I'm screwing in that angle. Look how tight that is, dudes. Like it's so tight, right? Like these are the smallest possible columns you could absolutely have in this situation. And look at the size of them. They're pretty darn big. Okay. Um, Always think about that. Just use your lasers, man, and, and and attach your steel at the top to what you can, okay? All you need is two sides. All you need is two sides. Uh, secure to the structure up there, and you're golden. The other, the other faces, boom. This is another way to do it, okay? You can pre-screw the angle on. All right, like I did here. This is just a second way of doing it. You can you can clamp it on and 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 screw it like put the angle on while the drywall is already up, or you could pre-do it and put the angle on. First layer, guys, you want your corners to be tight, 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 tight all the way around. Okay, for first layer, tight, tight, tight. So on the last layer, we want to keep a quarter inch back for the corner bead, but on the first layer, you want to be as tight as possible. Okay, on the corners with a drywall. See that? Boom. Boom, boom. It's looking great, right? See that? That's the quarter inch for final layer. But if you see um, on on the other, on oh no, that's that's actually a first layer there. My, my bad. But you want a quarter inch, so it's it's pretty tight. It's as close as I could get. Um, you, you know, you don't have you don't want to be over the other side. This this column here, I think this one is actually done. Is this one actually done? Double layer yet? I don't know. I don't see the first layer yet, but um, you see how you, I just go up to up to structure as high as you can, okay? Because all the rest is going to be fire sprayed. But on final layer, you want to have a quarter inch on your corners so that the corner bead goes on. Beautiful. Look at how strong that is. Oh yeah, so this is double layered already. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's strong. It ain't going nowhere, right? It's like beautiful. The drywall double layer five eighths is an inch and a quarter thick at the end of the day, okay? So I'm using heavy gauge angle, and and like it's just like. Boom, they're so strong, dudes. Like they're not going anywhere. Okay. Um, always make sure your your joints are staggered. Okay. You don't want to have a double joint anywhere. You want to have one layer of drywall on every side. And and it's just it's just so easy, guys. Like, listen, listen, if you guys have any questions about this at all, please leave them down below in the comments. Cause I promise I'll get back to you. I really do. I get back to everybody, guys. Enjoy construction cronies. Don't forget to subscribe, buddies, and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Bye for now.